I'd like to discuss um, a controversy surrounding the enhancement of vapor transport in soil. Observations have been showing for a long time that the rate by which vapor diffuses through soil is higher than what would be predicted by Fick's law, that meaning that if you place the concentration uh, gradient and a diffusion coefficient, you're getting for vapor much higher rates of diffusion than for an inert gas uh, that does not condense in the soil. This has been a mystery for uh, some time until in 1957, Philip and de Vries have proposed a theory for an intrinsic enhancement uh, factor or enhancement process that is related to phenomena at the pore scale. This is the shape of this enhancement uh, factor. It implies that the temperature gradient within the soil pores is different than the macroscopic gradient. And we'll come back to this in a minute. So to understand this uh, phenomena in the broader context, we have to look at uh, diffusion in free space uh, expressed by Fick's law of uh, flux uh, times a diffusion coefficient and a gradient of concentration, and diffusion in porous medium of non-condensable gases um, that uh, are not undergoing phase change like water, and condensable gases like water that undergo phase change in the soil. Uh, for porous media, for non-condensable gases, we have a diffusion coefficient that accounts for the tortuosity of the pathways in the soil. And this beta factor will be probably less than 1 in most cases. In fact, it is guaranteed to be less than 1. Whereas for the condensable gases, the theory of De Philip and De Vries suggested that this uh, coefficient can be greater than 1. And this is what uh, the literature values are for this uh, phenomena showing liquid saturation on the x-axis and enhancement factor on the y-axis, showing that, uh, that we have factors that are two, three, or four times the rate predicted by Fick's law. And of course, the rate, the factor diminishes as the porous medium becomes saturated and more and more of the pathways are being blocked. To explain this phenomena, uh, according to the Philippine de Vries uh, concept, Consider here two columns. This is an experiment by a master student at uh, uh, Mexico Tech uh, named Silverman, who did uh, an experiment in which uh, we have this setup here, where the uh, tube connecting these two wells can have in it um, an island of water. As as you increase the length of the island of water, you look at the uh, macroscopic diffusion you get from this experiment. And what you see, the longer the island of water, the higher the apparent diffusion through the of vapor through this, uh, basically confirming that uh, liquid bridges act as short circuits to the diffusion process. The problem is with this, why is it controversial, is because some of the experiments that are reported in the literature we've done with columns that are too short to exclude uh, the role of capillary flow. So here is an example from a paper by Nima Shokri back in uh, 2000s, uh, sh uh, 2012, showing that uh, these are the column lengths that are used by different authors. They are of the orders of maybe 50 millimeters, maybe 20 millimeters, uh, 200 millimeters, whereas the characteristic lengths in which uh, threads of water remains connected exceed that length. In other words, we cannot rule out the short circuiting by liquid water flowing by capillary flow across the sample. To, to sort out this controversy, we, uh, we went to uh, some uh, pore scale modeling in which um, we modeled scenario in which we have a liquid bridge or a uh, liquid bridge was absent. We can impose on a porous medium different types of uh, temperature gradient pointing upward or pointing downward and look at the resulting enhancement factor. Uh, without getting to the details, I'd like to jump right into the uh, Philip and de Vries proposition of a microscopic uh, engine uh, for this enhancement factor by constructing a porous medium according to their considerations. And when you do that, you find the following interesting results. That yes, there is an enhancement factor at the low saturation here because of these short circuits by the liquid uh, bridges. There is a range in which enhancement factor has been reported and can be reproduced that is mostly attributed to some continuous liquid phase threads that carry liquid, not necessarily by vapor transport. Vapor transport may take place in parallel to these pathways. And then when the porous medium is wet, basically the whole process is driven by capillary flow completely through the porous medium. So to summarize, there is a certain level of uh, vapor transport enhancement 
at moist soil, mostly at the low uh, saturation, somewhere in this region. Uh, for, uh, for the large values of uh, enhancement factor reported, typically uh, we would consider those as a result of confusion with a parallel pathway by capillary flow. And that basically illustrates the challenges of proposing a microscopic theory that cannot be observed, you know, this temperature gradient at the pores cannot be directly observed, uh, to explain a macroscopic phenomena. Uh, 